We are just over a month away from the midterm elections, and that's shaping up to be one of the most heated and contentious in history. We've already shown you what's being done on a local level to make sure the election is free and fair. And now we talk with Ohio's top election official about what the state is doing to make sure that no fraud happens. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRoe stopped by Northside Distillery on Ray Street to promote the Razor Glass to Democracy program. LaRose has partnered with more than 250 barber shops, beauty salons, breweries, and distilleries to help register people to vote and try to get more people to sign up to be poll workers. LaRose is pushing for anyone who has concerns about election security to become a poll worker. You come out of the experience having served as a poll worker. I believe the vast majority of people do uh, feeling more confident. Uh, in not only the security of the process, but also the access to the process. Election security and integrity is top of mind for LaRose right now. Hamilton County, I just did a tour with them uh, about a week and a half ago where they went through all the election security measures, talking about how you need two key cards to get indoors, that, st yeah. that type of stuff. What exactly is your office doing to kind of, you know, reinstill re faith in yeah. folks in the election security? It continues with voting machines. In fact, it's unfortunate there's a lot of false information out there about voting machines a lot of conspiracies about voting machines. Most of them are based on this fallacy that somehow someone could remotely tamper with a voting machine. It is completely false. We know that because voting machines in Ohio are never connected to the internet. They're not capable of being connected to the internet. LaRose says paper ballot audits show Ohio elections are nearly with an accuracy rate of 99.98 and 99.99% for the 2020 and 2021 elections. Seen around the country where candidates say they, they may or may not accept the election results. If that happens in Ohio, what will your office do to make you know, either the candidate accept or to make the public realize that, that it was an, a fair election? We need to do our work so well follow the law so carefully, do things so transparently and thoroughly that even the loser knows they lost. In downtown, I'm Christian Hauser. And Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana all require you to register to vote at least 30 days before an election. That means next Tuesday, the 11th, is your last day to do so.